And my name is Pessi Levanto. I'm a professional film composer based in Helsinki, Finland. This is an introductory video to our custom-made string sample library instrument, Bethany, how we put it together and how I use it in a project. In early 2020, I scored a Norwegian film called The Innocence. It was made by first recording a session with a string orchestra and building the score from those sessions layered with other elements. Among that material, I had the strings play long notes with slight coloring events happening within the note. These were written instructions for the players and all recorded together. These proved to be very useful and are all over that score. When I was asked to score an eight-part series for the Finnish broadcasting company and had the opportunity to use the Finnish Radio Symphony Orchestra for a few days, I wanted to take this coloration concept even further, to build a specific custom instrument for my personal use. Why not record just the long tones first this time and all kinds of different colorations separately, which I could then combine at will? What we aimed to do with Bethany was to create a palette of sounds that Pessy could use. The challenge that he had when, uh, when actually writing music for the series was that he had recording sessions already lined up and booked in. However, he knew that the episodes weren't going to be ready for him to actually work on by the time the recording sessions came by. He was going to have to essentially use the time he had, had booked with the, the Finnish Radio Symphony Orchestra to get as much material as he could get to create the soundtrack. Here we have the interface of Bethany. This is the first division of strings and this is the second one. They look identical but contain different samples. From here we can choose to sustain articulation. Let's take Sul Ponticello for instance. Consordino. Harmonics from a higher register. Or Sultasto. You might have a long sustained note and then one solo viola uh, suddenly, you know, brings up the volume and plays uh, molto vibrato, and it just, it sounds so cool. Uh, it sort of fades in and then fades out again. And here we can choose the colorations. These are the options we have. Here we can choose the density, how often the color appears, and its volume. So if we choose tremolo crescendo and half of the section, and combine it with Sultasto, it sounds like this. So what Pessy really wanted was to have these sounds that had a certain textural quality to them. And the way we did that, what I mean by textural is uh, with a little bit of movement in every note, uh, not just sort of long, long, long notes, but you know, with a bit of uh, color and variation in each note. Here I have the other half sul ponticello and the other half consordino with some nasty quarter tones and overpressure through some overdrive and effects.
Here I've put some distortion and an octaver using sul ponticello with quarter tones as coloration. Here I have Sultasto with harmonic tremolo. There are many really well-made realistic libraries anyone can buy, so I wanted ours to be rougher and less clean, close mic dry and dirty. Plus we only had about two sessions to record the whole thing, so making a high-end instrument wasn't possible anyway. So the first part of creating the instrument was creating a prototype. So we created a prototype, a contact prototype with Bessie uh, during the spring. And I wrote the logic on playing the instrument and also creating the instrument. And so after the spring, we already had a prototype with sample instruments um, that we used to sort of specify and fine tune the actual instrument. And then during the summer, when we had the actual recording sessions, we were able to just focus on taking in the, the session material from the, from the Radio Symphony Orchestra sessions. So after the sessions, um, we used actually Google Sheets for doing all the mapping from the score to the final samples on, on, on disk. Uh, we had to clean up all the material, so all the noises, the background noises, the little uh, clanks and turning the pages and all the little noises which were apparent. And uh, I did the sample splicing and normalizing and all, all the nitty-gritty details using a program called Reaper because it has really good automating and macro possibilities and we were able to do a lot of things automatically that would have required a lot of man manual work. So from Google Sheets to Reaper to Disk and then using the script that we had already created in the spring, which uh, generates the contact instrument automatically. So all that was done beforehand, so I was running the Lua script and then just pushing everything into the contact instrument and voila, we have our contact instrument. To be honest, uh, this is such a process that I've never been part of before. Everything comes together only at the end. So there is a lot of pre-hand uh, uh, planning and uh, like this orchestration and uh, recordings, music recordings, they have been very different from what I've been used to. Something like this could be useful because we don't see what we need before the image is cut and uh, everything is there, so I'm not a composer, but as a director, from my point of view, I always see only at the end of the process that what we actually need. So it's very, very uh, interesting to see how this all will work out. Bethany is now in good use while rescoring the series. I find it an inspirational and personal tool which will give the series a special and hopefully unique sound. I hope you found this useful and maybe we've given you an idea or two for your own creative projects. From Helsinki, all the best. <laughs>